Welcome to my first playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Previously, previous episode stream was extremely emotional. Um, a lot of crying, depression, all the all the sad, sad things. <laughs> um, we said goodbye to Arthur and we are currently playing as John. Uh, Arthur helped John and his family escape, and I actually did not know this, but John is the protagonist of the first Red Dead Redemption. So it's like, this is technically the first game, and the first game is the second game. So we are continuing his story. Uh, we, we got somewhat of like a nice ending, I guess you could consider. And a few years after, we, we, you know, moved into this uh, farm over here. We came back uh, to this, like, area, I guess. And we are under a false name. So we are working at a farm, scooping poop, doing all of those things. Our child, uh, Jack, he is, I think, like, 12 or something. I'm not sure exactly. But, yeah, we are getting used to the family life. You might be able to hear my cat. Um, so we're gonna go to the Abigail right now, our wife, and we're gonna talk to her. Oh my god, Piso! Psst, psst. Oh my lord! She's yelling and screaming. I'm gonna stream play other, other games. Yes! We love variety. Just rich, amazing games here, so... Single players are so down. fun! Surviving, I think. Here, I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is, well, no, undertakers like me, cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a. Old Ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater? Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. <laughs> Jim, if you're heading that way, it's can you so pick up funny, a parcel though. for me? Like Lancelot? The dress I ordered, I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. And save the small. real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get. You take care now. Of course. It's so funny to me that, like, he it's gave nice him a fake house, name, huh? Lancelot. I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. Yes, sir. You make that clear enough. What's that supposed to mean? Only that you aren't so happy here with us. Son, I'm happy. It's just, I, I find it hard is all. You'll understand someday. Can we talk to him about something? It's not. Here. Want to take the reins a little? 
I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. We're gonna give him the aww. I love when they are bonding. It's so sweet. There were some rumors that um, they will be releasing the remake on PC. So if they do that, I will definitely play. That's enough. For now. Back in Strawberry, eh, hey, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. We ever gonna get to Strawberry going like this? Hi, Jack. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Okay, let's not bump into anything. Careful. Son. Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. It's so cute, small. I still remember that massacre in 99. Terrible. Hi. I'm here to name. M my name? Um uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. <laughs> He's just yelling. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Uh -oh. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. Hmm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Hmm. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, let's get out of here. What, this guy with the mustache. Okay, Pa? Like, heard sure. all the names. I hope so, at least. And we Here, are wanted. Take the reins a little. Uh -oh. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. He heard the names and left. Yep. I don't trust We're going this. Back to okay, we don't have a gun. We're okay. Which might be so, a good wait. sign. We've come all the way out here and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Do you have any plans for your birthday, Jack? Uh, Jack? It's so nice. Look, if 
If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Oh, I can't, like, tell him. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Nothing okay. isn't quiet. Yeah. I like those kinds of birthdays. Nothing crazy. Yep. I'm not gonna Who's really this? tell him to like speed Sorry, up sir. too much. Was that a question for me? No, no, keep driving. Uh oh. Oh, I don't What's like wrong, this. Huh? Nothing. Let's speed this up. Faster. We gotta go quick. Come on. Oh, I don't like this. It's that guy with the mustache. Leave me alone. Is somebody back there? Just keep driving. Pick up the pace a bit. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Fine. Pull your reins in. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. I don't want to speed him up too much because, you know, I he's think still the horse learning. Is skittish. He'll be all right. I can't tell him to slow down or speed up now. Something bad is gonna. <gasps> no! What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Slow. Uh oh. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pa, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there. Stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, now! He has to have a gun somewhere, like, just hidden. There's no way. Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? Do you sure look like him? No. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. No? Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. <laughs> Dead Eye is so different with Jack. Hold on. Can I do it again? It's so different. Like it's um with Arthur, it it sounded a bit different, or maybe because I'm not Arthur. I don't know. I just feel like it sounds different. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. It's a baby. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up! They just wanted vengeance, yeah. This is slow. Easy now. Oh dear, those men! I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose look out! yourself. I don't like this much. Okay, how do I. You killed them, Pa! Son, I need you to hold it together. <laughs> This is a bit, like, harder to control because, you know, it's, it's a whole wagon and everything. You were real brave back Aww. there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Or slicing. Really? Uh-huh. Hmm. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. There, there. He's a baby. Oh no. 
Like, I'm trying to look at him. I think Jack is more of a scholar than a gunslinger. He's reading all the time. I mean, he's also a kid, obviously, but still, it's like... I think he's more sensitive type than a warrior. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Peacher's Hope. That's right. Peacher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as rancher's boy. Like Duncan and Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... <laughs> yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Clean it both? Mm. That is also true. Book in one hand, revolver in the other. <laughs> Let me uh, turn up the windows volume a little bit, guys. Okay, there we go. It was too low for me. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. In the very beginning of this little chapter, um, he was fighting with Abigail and Abigail was telling him like, oh, did you have to shoot him? Did you have to kill him? you're gonna like they're gonna know who we are i think she was talking about stuff like that and kind of scolding him so i wonder if it was about this guy's brother but it happened a few months ago so i don't know oh do i have to go back you think so too since it's kind of caught up to us i thought it was maybe a bigger we'll event Yeah, it's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Uh, probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. Uh... <laughs> Was your dress that caused all the problems? It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Aww. Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Arthur? Oh my god, it's him! Hi, Arthur. <laughs> Hello. Is it you? Hello, welcome, Meow D. Can I milk the cow? Between six and oh, okay. I would honestly love this life. I would totally like scoop a bit of poop here and there if I could just milk the cows and like live live here. No internet, no anxiety. You just work, you eat, go to sleep. It's now, simple. Dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Gentlemen. Not Hello there. Men. You toad. It's a good spot, this, ain't it? Huh. Do not embarrass me. You know, life's a strange thing, but all in all, okay. That's good. You be well now. Bye then. I should go into people's streams and just start talking like that. Yeah. No, that's interesting. Mr. Milton, I should like to have a word with you. Okay, hold on. Should I go back to my wife, maybe? No, that's fine. My bookie. I thought I told you to tidy up. I was getting to that, sir. Get to it quick. 
Okay, well, I'll <laughs> squeak leave you much to it, again. Man. If you don't mind, sir. Yeah, this microphone cuts off when it gets really high. Mr. Milton, I should like to have a word with you. Milton? Yes, hello. It's me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. His hair is so shiny. I know. Oh, that soup looks Anybody so good. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Why are they not putting on a blanket? What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Uh-oh. Jim, you got it. Something, two of them by the stalls. Take that tall. Oh my god. This rich man's father. You boys are over. Who's this? New hand. Oh. Oh. Hey, this is gonna be a bit just tough. Gone. We're putting a bullet in your head, believe me. You know that awful, Jim? Jim? Where's Giddy's now? Beating them up in my they've killed pajamas. Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back. I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Uh-oh. Mr. Getty's been real good oh, to us. Is that Arthur's hat? We I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. That's Arthur's hat. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last week. He kept me. Hear out of him. Is that the same weapon that Arthur had? Or... No, okay. Let's go. So he knows. I he knows that we are not who we say we are. Something up? Because we are too. Like we know how to fight and everything. Milton, what are you doing? What do you mean? I'm going to the destination. Are they not following me? Hello. Ah, oh, there we go. He's teleporting. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. Look at the sky. It's so That's pretty. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. 
Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Sneaky mission. Hey! Mm, hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle and to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. I have a dead eye, now get sir. Get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him. I tried, man. This music is so good! I ain't time to look after you, kid! Uh, I'm okay! It's very like heroic. Look out, Tom! Let me deal with you! Ew! in front of me. Hey, oh, welcome. Where is my drink? Come on. I just love using rifles. I think I hold it. woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip, get the- He sounded very rapey to me, so... Uh, shit. It's fine. Where's my hat? It's like the- Wait, you are right! I looked at the Red Dead Redemption 1 art and everything and it was John! <laughs> Better keep insulting him! I totally forgot to take a screenshot. Now I feel really bad. That was such an iconic little like moment. I did not even realize. Mm. 
If I go to the stables, am I gonna have Arthur's, like, horses? Eight years late. Okay, yeah. Oops. Hey, you're back. Why am I you smoking? You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Whoa. Save the whole place. <laughs> Why am I smoking? Well, that weren't nothing. Well, you. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, it's you cold. Saved my life. I don't think. need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up? Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. Okay. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Mr. Spaghetti? What? what? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. That's basically how she's looking. What was I supposed to do? I understand why she is mad, but it is what it is. No, I have not played the original, sadly, but if it comes out on PC, I definitely will. I'm gonna jump on that game instantly. Motherhood? Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. I'm on PC, yeah. PC is the only you think you want? console that I have. I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Morning to you. Oh. I like Ram. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Sadie! My beloved! Hey, good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. Is it some kind of like a secret language or something? Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Like it, it's so cryptic in a way. <laughs> stop. Hey, good. Stop. It's what? <laughs> Abigail. Hello. No, Abigail, come on! Darling John, no. a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior. And your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. 
Oh, damn, this is so complex. You think it's justified? It has so many layers. Like, I understand, but it's also sad. She wants to keep the, the sun safe. I mean, they just got attacked. Um... This is the shirt that, like, she got for us, I think. <clears throat> Where's the wife, Milton? Um, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. Probably. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Maybe the best thing to do in their situation would be for him to just work and sort whatever like stuff is happening, if he has to fight or just do whatever he has to do, while Abigail and uh, Jack are maybe in like Strawberry or somewhere still near, but in a safe space so that like... When he will go to the city with his son, they will not get killed. <laughs> you know, like they can... Ugh. Oh, this is complex because I understand where she is coming from, but... Like, it's not something that... Like, he is very deep into this lifestyle, you know? So he can't just... I don't know. When the whole ranch is getting attacked, I mean, he could not just go back to sleep, you know? You have to do something. In this particular situation. <laughs> yeah, I guess Tahiti would be the best uh, choice. <laughs> to be a loot goblin! Very true. Hi Light, welcome. That's why I really just love this game. It ha It's so complex and it has so many layers. You understand the situations of both characters, but... It is what it is, still. Just not black and white. Oh, Cobra, after the stream, I'm going to be uploading um, that section of the gameplay on my YouTube channel. I edit VODs and I put them up over there. If you want to see any of the previous uh, streams or anything as well, it's very condensed over there. A lot more condensed, so you can check it out if you want. Nice, Toby. I was very shocked, yeah. Very sad. A few months later. That's her full. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. The beers. Are... Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Eddie's house. How do you pronounce the family name? 
Oh, uh, Merab uh, Dvalishvili. Dvalishvili. It's basically the way you read it is the way you pronounce it. Would you play as John or would you want to go back to Arthur? I definitely want to go back to Arthur, but John also looks like a very interesting character. Hello, welcome. You want to play a Sadie? I would love to play a Sadie. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've... I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant Imagine if cousin. he said Tahiti or something. Just Here's my specific. name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Oh, is this where we open up the map? boy so it begins we no longer have to work here now as much loan lady there is something that i really want to do Oh yeah, you're right, first person. Oh, blessed are those who uh, hunger and thirst for righteousness. I'm surprised he does not say anything. Don't poop on 
an... Oh my god, horsey! Okay, girl, stay here. Parking the horse. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. I thought to myself, <laughs> who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. Tell her what queen. For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? Ah! Oh, what was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. John Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> We didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. Oops. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <coughs> oh, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. I would say Your maybe telegram. like yeah, like 80, 90 you said hours. You had something to discuss. A pretty long game. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Ah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Everything is happening in Strawberry in this chapter. It's like a central city. Like Saint uh, Denis. Dennis. All right, see what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker, bald, 45. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. Hey, we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town you see the adirondacks of the west the mayor calls it <laughs> i can't remember any of the bastards okay ask in the general store or the post office they tend to know who's in residence oh, that is season true. as we say season good lord
Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk. No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the welcome center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. in the welcome center. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the horses and then wait here and grab him if he tries running. Easy enough. Oh, it's that kind of a mission. Hi. Um. Room well? three is just up there. I think it may be lagged and didn't task. Room three. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. I'm not gonna kick the door. Just a friend, come on, open the door. I didn't do it. I didn't do it! Open the goddamn door! He's not gonna jump out of the window, is he? I'm gonna have to kick it. Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! No! Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! Come Wait, can on, I... Jump out! Oh, that was so cool! Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. Whoa! Oh, whoa! He went right. I have not done these contracts for so long. Like with the skelly head. Stay on it. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit. Come peaceably. Horsey is getting tired. You've got no cause! Well, that changes things up for you. What you got there? Stop squirming! Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man! But you it's one mistake! My wife! My wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you buried, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not. Hey, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so... I'll come find you. Anything to take down Micah? Oh, so we do have some bounties. Stuff. 
I kind of want to check up on this lady over here to see how she's doing. There is fire in here. So it's been what, like eight years and she is like thriving. Hi. Hello there. Can I help you? I uh, think you knew a friend of mine. A fella called Arthur Morgan. Came by and helped you with some hunting and skinning probably seven or eight years back. Whole hat. Yes, of course. Well, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for him. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, he passed soon after. I figured he might not have had long left. Such a shame. He found me at my lowest point and he lifted me up. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Glad to see Stop. you're doing well, ma'am. He wrote fondly of you. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Listen, it, it's a long way out here. You're welcome to take whatever you need from the house for your travel. No, no, that ain't necessary. Please, I have everything I need and more. But he gave me the ability to survive. And now I'm writing. Any friend of Arthur's is a friend of mine. Please take something. It would make me happy. Well, that's very kind of you, ma'am. Aren't you a little close there? Ooh. Thanks for the loot. You take care of yourself out here, ma'am. <laughs> so this is the new one. Hey, mister, have you seen my dog? I I've been looking everywhere for her. Dog? She's Stay been gone for hours. Can you help me find her, please? Of course. Sure, I'll keep an eye out. She's a foxhound, you know, white and brown. I if you find her, I live in a house on the edge of town. Thank you, mister. Oh, no. There's a town for a missing dog? Where am I going to find a dog? Which chapter? Uh, we are playing as John. Eagle Eye? Oh, I can track. Yeah. Read all about it. Read all about it. You're a good filly. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna park the horse and we will look for the dog. Not like this. There it is. Woo! Stay by this post. This is where it all started. A chance to make you happy. All we did you give us a chance? A chance to make you happy. His mistake. A Can't subside the dog. Like I know, right? For home. Since I've been elected mayor, I have reduced the criminal element. Doggy. Wait, you can't subside the dog, but you can Oh. It worked. Whoa. Oh my god, he's gonna... <laughs> what is this? New world? <laughs> Got 
Come here, girl. Come on. Gonna get you home. I'm here. Hello, welcome. Hello. Don't woof at me. Come on. That's so sweet. You have a good day too. You found her. We did. <laughs> so good to see you, No, girl. you are beautiful. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you, mister. We ain't never spent a night apart. She's the closest thing to a family I got left. I'm glad I could help. You take care of her now. John can swim if you get a deep. <laughs> Wait, he can swim? Really? I had no idea. You ain't a tourist, so I'm guessing you're a bounty hunter. Posters usually go up on that wall there. Did you just call me a sausage? <laughs> um. It's the first time I hear that. Hey there. Hello there. <laughs> Let's inspect this. Hmm. What is this name? Bart? Guys, Bart Kavan... Kavan... <laughs> has been... Uh, Bart Kavan... Has been declared an outlaw in the province of Strawberry. Has been definitely... Is guilty of multiple accounts of assault. Okay. Bart Kavanaugh. He's one of them Kavanaugh. boys down from Laramie. Okay. They say they businessmen chasing up land deals. But I know higher guns when I see him. Laramie? I'm acquainted with some of those fellas. Yeah, the mayor's got a strange tolerance. But this one's gone too far. He's up north of here, the other side of the mountain. Good luck with it. Do do do. Okay, I think we need him uh alive, right? Dead or alive, okay. We'll have to use the rope. Let's go. Is that him? Oh yeah, it is him. Look at these sleeping beauties. Is he okay? He seems to be alone, but there are a bunch of horses. Tell you. It's a dysentery. Huh? Who's there? Uh, he can't be here. Hey, uh, hold on. Some kind oh, of that's not him? What? Oh, no, 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 I'm just gonna tie everyone up. Choke you with this rope when I get no rings dying today, didn't you? Hold on. Let's finish this son of a bitch! Oh. Oh. What the hell? Don't move! This should sober you 
you up? Get your damn hands off me! Um, pick up. Up you get! God! Release me, you son of a bitch! Hello? Poor seat. Don't know who you think I am, but I ain't done nothing! Oh, I can't wait mm -hmm. to kill you! Okay. And press uh, left click. Yeah. Oh, wait. You are right. I should have just like rushed to him. I panicked. You're making a big mistake! What kind of coward ambushes a fella in his sleep? Thanks for making it so easy for me. Wish they was all as dumb as you. Anything happens to me, you're a dead man. Ain't you heard of the Laramies? Oh, yeah. We've met. They'll get me out. And when they do, we're real good at finding Lemonade people. boys? I really couldn't feel less intimidated by you, Bart. Oh, my stomach's turned something rotten. Can you take it easy? Nope. I really don't feel good. And I really couldn't care less. I think I'm going to be sick. <coughs> Spill any of your guts on my horse. I'll spill yours on the ground. I'm just as fine taking you in dead. <coughs> That's better. Real charmer, ain't you? What were you fellas drinking anyway? Some hillbilly rock gut. Skuma? It was real fun. Till it wasn't. These ain't even my clothes. Last thing I remember, we caught a rat in a boot. And we're all pissing in it. <laughs> well, at least you can go to gallows knowing you've led a full life, Bart. Oh, God, no. This boot's wet. It's coming back to me now. Sock full of piss. We're staying my life. And you saved the worst for last. Oh, my God. He's You're wearing a boot where they pissed them? Yeah. I can only imagine you at your sharpest. Come on, don't do this. Let's work something out. Cool down, girl. Mm -hmm. Someone's here to see you, Sheriff. Put him down in one of the cells. You know who I am, Sheriff? You know who's protecting me? I hope you're sweating, because you're going to feel it for this. It's your boss who got you brought in, you dumb bollock. Now shut up. This is the worst mistake you ever made. Dumb bollock. Money's there. I'm gonna take some comfort in seeing at least one of them Laramie boys meet justice. Take it if it helps you sleep at night, Sheriff. Thanks. Hey, uh, no more posters going up here for a while. Mayor don't like the way it looks. We are a tourist town, after all. Hmm. I guess this means that we are not gonna be, like, getting a contract here anymore. Go and do our main quest, feller. Or something here. We've never been to Blackwater. I've never seen how it looks like. The Ar Arthur's story is over, but we are playing as John. The hunt is over. Kill her. Whoa! What? 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 So this is a gang that is like on um, in this area. Bad things happen out here. I will be visiting few other characters as well. 
but I just want to go to the uh, Blackwater for now. I'm also going to try to like remember. Yeah, I want to go here. A PT. So I'm going to like try to remember um, for tomorrow where we can go. Something. Yeah, yeah, we are just trying to get a loan so we can get a house for our wife and a kid. It's this guy. Maybe you shall find peace. Hi. Help the blind, and maybe you shall see. Well, no, for a house. Help a blind man. Okay, sure. I see sand and ocean and palm trees. Find the black flower, and you will be rewarded. Okay. I guess I'll bear that in mind. Am I gonna get bad karma if I pull a gun on him? To, like, see if he reacts? Don't waste any more time with an old blind no. man. Go out there and become who you are. Oh, he actually can see. I have nothing more for you now. There was Go uh, use what you there know. was another Don't guy like in Saint Dennis who was like on the floor, on the ground. So I think that that one is pretending. Okay, we have never been here. Well, this is where all the bad stuff started. I think we did some robbery in, Sen uh, in Blackwater and then it went really bad. I'm surprised it's no longer red. Too kind, fella. I used to be a man once. You know, a wife, career. Now look at me. Worse than nothing. A filthy, worthless joke. Oh, no. <laughs> Pitiful. Poor guy. Shouldn't look around. <laughs> Steal money? No! You can't do that. All right, y'all. Buenas tardes, señor. Evening. Hey, mister. Evening. This town's okay. I heard the same thing. Okay there. Good evening, friend. Put him out of his misery. Hello, guys. Welcome. Oh, hey! Have a pleasant evening. Ain't you a nice group? Evening, partner. This is so cute. People just sitting outside. Hey, partner! Evening, sir. Hello? Evening. I'm gonna max out his, um, like, reputation. Before finishing this. Okay, let's go here. It's a really nice, cozy town. Oh, wait, there's a bounty. I don't want to progress too quickly. You look like you could use a ride, mister. Sir! Have it Buddy. You, mister! Just Mister? shut up, damn fool. Okay, that's enough now. It's 
like playing League. You say, hi guys. Someone just, shut the fuck up. Whoa. You look like an honest enough fella. If I could interest you in bounty work. What is this druid on the place? Hi. Might take a look. Elias Green. He definitely eats people. For murder and mutilation of six settlers near Man Manzantia Post. He's a member of the Skinner Brothers gang. Considered extremely dangerous. Last seen in the Great Plains. Hmm. Okay, so they're all alive type of thing. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. You hear what they done up near tall trees? Might be where to look for them. If you can stomach it. I don't think you'll be bringing him in alive. But sure as hell, I'd love to spit in his eye before he hung. Don't talk about spitting. Too soon. <laughs> Can we sleep somewhere? Hmm. Okay, Missy. Yeah, things were going really bad. Um, and Abigail kind of moved out with the kid. So, I guess when we find a nice, like, place to settle... Whoa! Huh? <laughs> okay. Zeus, hello? I didn't do anything. Jesus. Who do a thing like this? Hello? Not here. Maybe you shouldn't call him. Marco. Anything here? Okay, how do we track him? Hi, Ty. I was always bad with like tracking and stuff. Search deeper. Uh -uh. I don't want to go. Ooh, what is this? Hello. They are so close to whatever happened over there, though. Hello. Is anyone here? Just peacefully checking. What does that mean? I can't read this. Oh, 
because it's like in a different language. I can't read this. Whose house is this? I don't know. Some uh, Norwegian couple lived here, I guess. And he can't actually read the note because he doesn't know the language. But you can like see the note itself a little. Yeah, I'm assuming the cannibal guys killed them. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this. Little like a corridor type of thing. This one's still breathing. Oh, the bear. They're like together, so I'm Holy. trying to differentiate which one is please, which. Please let me go. Oh, what do you think? Shall we let? Him okay, that's the one. Cut you. I swear I will. Here we go. Let's get you up. I'm gonna bite you. You better, damn not. That was a nice hat you was wearing. I'll make you into a hat, mister. I would love to see you try. Any of them alive? Nope. Stranger. I could not save them. I don't want to move the strangers and stuff. Let's just take now, him back. Let's get you to Blackwater. his back on me i'm gonna kill you i could cut you anytime mister you got a wife somewhere you smell like you got a you <laughs> may get a wife of your own in prison I want to talk about my wife, sir. You ever felt pain, mister? Real pain? Uh, you're the one tied to the back of a horse. Now hush. I'm not really a big fan of cannibals, you guys. Not a fan. You think they want me alive? They won't know what to do with me. The judge gonna let me go so I can come and find you? They want me dead and buried and all forgotten about. Being so loud, guys. Police. You might be able to hear her. 
when I like when I talk and the microphone like opens up. Good work today. You're coming with me. Come on, Green. Let's get you inside. God damn it! I'll bite you. Yeah, yeah. Well, got you that Skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down. Elias Green is a living breeze. God damn it. Put him in a cell. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. He's gonna bite the rope. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up. That man ain't worth spit. But here's what we're paying for him. You don't mean honest work for honest pay. You come back soon, you'll find another poster on that wall. This fledgling community needs your kind. Death on you. Death on you in black. He left you with dirty. Wait, you are you right. You want a bucket of water while you sleep? You keep this up, Green. 